<clears throat> but I said, yeah. So he said, good. Let's get it started. So we got started. And as, as I was starting on this path, he gave me a plan. He said, you are going to do this for two years. Then you are going to do this for two and a half years. And then you are going to go here and you're going to give your life. I thought, man, that is just right on, Lord. I will be a martyr at the end. It'll be great. I'm going to do great things, and then I'm going to do this and that, and then I'm just going to... A semi-truck's going to come down the road at 90 miles an hour. I won't feel a thing. I'll be gone. I will be in heaven. It's beautiful. I'll do it. Then I didn't say, how do you plan on doing this? So, time went on. And for two years, I stayed in that church. And it got to be almost two years. Now, I'm talking about the Lord of glory. It got to be two years almost exactly. My pastor said, Ron, it's been two years. You said it would be two years. This was on a Thursday. If you don't have a place to go by Sunday, I don't want you to leave. I said, Pastor, I don't want to go. I'm for that. It's Thursday. I'm staying. Friday, I get a call. See, the Lord had told me, you're going to go to this area because there is something going on there. And you'll know when it's time because somebody will call you. I said, okay. Well, I got a call on Friday. I could tell my pastor I wasn't leaving. Friday, I get the call. The guy says, you're not going to believe it. It's my presbyter. You're not going to believe it. It's Walter. There's this church, and this is going on, and this is going on. Exactly what God told me two years ago. And he said, the, the great thing about it is the district board has already approved you for pastor. All you got to do is say you'll go. And you'll follow him. Yes, I'm down with it. Now it's going to get exciting. So we started to move forward towards Calvary. Are you with me? Anybody bored yet? Because I could stop. We could shout a little bit. But I'm trying to talk about real Christianity, which is what we need. Because when I got to that place, great revival broke out. We had great revival, and I, I got more speaking engagement. It was more of this. It was more of this. It was delivered. It was great. And then after two years of there, where everything just went great. It was just great. It was exactly what a preacher would love. He said, okay, Ron, are you ready? He said, yeah. He said, okay, I'm going to send you to central Wisconsin. You're going to give your life there. He said, oh, Mr. Marcus, but I'm going to heaven. So I said, well, Lord, if I'm going to go, I need a job. Now, you want to talk about the Lord of glory. The next day, I got a phone call that said, would you like a job? I said, yes. And I had given the Lord a fleece of eight things. And I'm going to try to hasten here. The guy gave me all eight things on the phone. It'll be this and this and this and this and this and this and this. I said, Lord, you're doing it. Yeah. Let's go for this. We're moving on. And so I interviewed with the company and I had a place called Stevens Point. Which you, does anybody know where Stevens Point is? It's a beautiful city. Okay, very good. It's a beautiful city. It's got a lot of good people. But it's a beautiful city. <laughs> Five churches have tried and stopped. That was that where the devil's not and I won't give up, you know. We sing that song. <sighs> Hold on. Because it gets dicey. Are you okay? Is it all right? All right. So, the guy meets with me, and I said to the Lord, I'll go to Stephen's point. I'll start that whole missions church, Lord. I'm ready to do it. The guy meets with me, Brother Hicks. He says, This job needs you to relocate. So, where do you want me to go? Because if I go, how about Stephen? Testimony. Everybody's going to shout over the testimony. It's awesome. So I moved. A, a new pastor came in and they went gangbusters where I went. And I moved to Stephen's point. And it was beautiful because we went down there and I said, Lord, I'm going to need a house. There's a house. It's a big house. 3,400 square feet. All redone. Just beautiful. I'm like, <laughs> let me tell you, it was a setup. <laughs> Answer wisely. Because we walked out of the house, you were there. And so was this unbeliever from where I was from. He loved me, but he didn't love Jesus. You know, sometimes we get in the way that way. And you guys doing good back there? <laughs> All right, he's smiling, that's good. So, we got, we got the house, we sat the deal on the house, we 
take the unbeliever with us. So we walk over. I'm trying to say, look what the Lord has done. He's not impressed. Yeah, well, I just carried all the furniture. So whatever. Let's go get something. <laughs> we walked outside. Sounds like you. At the bottom of the stairs is this small gentleman. What are you doing here? I said, and you got Walters. No answer. I said, yeah, I came down here with my family, and I'm a business guy, and I've got some things going on for business. He goes, no. What are you doing here? Well, there's a great college. I've got kids in high school. I'm here to, to set my family up at the center of the state. I like it. He goes, no, what are you doing here? I said, well, come in Jesus' name. I said, I'll come here and go to church for one God. What would you do if I began to defile your God and defile the word of God? I said, whoa, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Eat you <and> go home. <laughs> now, the neat thing was the unbeliever back there going, <laughs> we go to Burger King, I'm ordering burgers, my son's drinking whatever and eating stuff, and we got other people around the table and like, he's over there going, <laughs> Bill, are you okay? What was that? <laughs> oh, your little agnostic self got a problem? I said, that was kingdoms in conflict, Bill. We're here to build a church. Obviously, Satan doesn't like it, but I am going to have more of that. Right? So, Bill goes back to Park Falls and gets the Holy Ghost within two weeks. Lord. And he's baptized. Lord. Yeah, more of this. Lord. Right? And, and things start going in, most of church. I mean, first year, 30 something got the Holy Ghost, home missions work, running 70. I walk into a building and God gives us the building. And just to show off, I had the guy that owned the building put into the lease, the rent will be whatever the Lord allows. How many leases say that? <coughs> Went to camp meeting that time. <laughs> <laughs> That's camp meeting material. <laughs> I, can, I can stood up on the people. I said, if you just step out, the Lord is going to make a way for you. Everybody's like, Hah. I mean, everybody in the whole camp meeting is <laughs> More of this. Went to Calvary yet, though. Mm -hmm. So we started teaching marriage seminars. Beautiful thing. So effective. Church has grown in marriage seminars. The Department of Corrections calls me, and I thought, oh, what is this? It was the parole people. They said, you know, do you know this certain guy? And I won't use his name. I said, yeah. He said, he just came into my office on Monday with his wife, got on his knees, apologized to her, confessed everything we knew he did as for forgiveness. Now he's the governor of the gangster disciples of Wisconsin. You let him in your church. I said, yeah, well, when he's there, he cries like a little baby. Fetal position. He just cries like a baby. Well, he said, you taught a marriage seminar. I did. They said, we're making it mandatory for everybody on parole in Portage County. He said, you can't do that. Here I am. You can't do that. Really? I said it. They said, we're going to. To make it even better, we're going to make him come to your church. <sighs> that day, Brother Hicks, a sign went up at the church. It was a big sign. It said, Willow Ridge Apostolic Church. We're families. Worship together. Woo! <laughs> jumped and run. All those things and I still do. Because he's still there. Yeah. Right? Then I got a phone call. Hello. Hello. Who's this? Your wife. What? I'm divorcing you. Who? Okay. Can we talk about this? No. I can't. Okay. Is there anything I can do to rectify it? So I sat under the sign. 